let's watch this first here. No sound. And that's the clip here. You are mentioning in your email that you feel like it's a bit slow and I would concur, especially through here. It's just a very slow, it's a slow turn, but also a slow move through there, just that body. Now, that being said, you have, I'm gonna bring that in here, you have the reference. So when we look at that, right? Or not. <laughs> there you go. The thing that sends out, this is important for um, horses to have, uh, most of the time you have to look at their legs being straight. It's not often that they're not going to stand in front of you with like both legs bent. There's something very specific about horse legs always bam, having those really straight legs. So one of the things that I'm looking at, if I look at this reference, Yes, you have details like what they do with the ears. There's always a big head move because you have this big structure here that goes up and down. And I know it's on the slower side through here and I see it also in the reference. But this is where I would slightly deviate. Sometimes it looks just a bit weird in CG when it's that even timing. There's something about it really leaning on this side, kind of rolling over and then pushing up. So you could emphasize that moment there. And the big thing is this, you have that in there already a little bit, so it's definitely a bit more pronounced in this reference with that head move down. So what I would concentrate really is that the, the strong nature of getting up there, pushing up that backside here, super, and how quickly those legs, especially when once that leg is there, you know, there's a little bit of wobbliness, but bam, and then it locks. So if I look at that and go back to this here, what, where I would deviate from the references there. I mean, I don't know if you want to go and uh, that is an empty background. <laughs> uh, see how you have all the, the grass stuff? Question for you. I mean, do you want to add some things here to kind of hide and maybe, you know, you have to not worry about intersections so much when you have that type of environment or you want to keep it like that? Just going to be a lot more to do compression and keeping this all legal. So that will be just a question for you. Um, but I would break from the reference a bit and tweak that and, and I mean, it depends. This, given that this is more cartoon your rig, my question to you, and I didn't see this in an email, how far do you want to stylize this, right? With this face and everything, do you want to make this just photoreal and copy that reference? Or do you want to give it a little bit more where um, something a bit more in the head and expressed of, ah, I gotta get up and maybe it's, maybe the horse is really bored and like, hey, it's getting up or something. And then you can do something a bit more exaggerated with a head turn. And kind of stylize the idea of leaning on this mass, rolling over, and then pushing up with the front legs. And really, I would then exaggerate that backside as well for a, a strong, exaggerated push. But going back to what I said before, I would really try to watch out for all those shapes. But tricky with a rig like that, I would try to keep this on a strong leg where it's a bit more like this. It's, it's a bit busy, but... Like that, I would try to keep this straighter and almost bent backwards. Like really go for that that straight leg idea. Even this, I would exaggerate and get to this a bit sooner so you get that, that typical horse stance with the front legs. Because here it feels always nice because the way it's shaped here. So I would just personally just push, push that pose there more. And personally, just stylize that moment. Even if it's more more real, just still kind of push that roll and push up into like a one-two moment. And then here, it feels like you want to be a bit more rotated through that side. So that whole front head part moves a bit more like this. So it's less arky down like that. And there's something a bit more, if you go back to this guy, It's a more of a direct down and up versus it feels a bit more arky leading with the nose there. So, but again, it uh, depends. Depends how far you want to stylize that. So, uh, that will be my question to you. Let me know in the email. Because um, then that, again, will change certain attitudes and looks. Will that be then a bit more pantomime um, stylized or I don't know. Let me know what the range is uh, for that. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.